Hi everyone, just wanted to do a little review on uh, the Harbor Freight Predator motors. Now, although right now I'm showing you a, a Briggs & Stratton Vanguard 23 commercial engine that originally came on our sawmill. Uh, this motor uh, failed after uh, three months of use and uh, we sent it out for a warranty repair and it took a month to get it back. We rely on our uh, sawmill business to pay our bills so being down a month could literally bankrupt us real quick um, the motor has since been repaired and we have it back and right now I'm holding it as a spare um, I'm not 100% sure that I trust it and I'm going to show you what we did uh, and also while I'm right here I want to point out the gas tank on this is right on the top of the engine um, and I'll show you why that matters here in a minute okay here we are um, this is our mill it's a Norwood Lumber Pro HD 36 we've been busy and uh, as I said the, the original motor went on this on this mill and uh, after being down two weeks, we knew that we couldn't keep going. Uh, otherwise, we would uh, literally become bankrupt. Uh, we bought a uh, Predator 670cc. I believe this one's only 20, 20 or 21 horsepower, which is uh, a couple horsepower less than the original motor. Um, and on the top there is no fuel tank and i did not realize this until after i bought it and brought it to the mill but i went to a local uh, lawnmower repair shop and was able to get a fuel tank that we kind of strapped on there for now just to get us through uh, from a zero turn mower and a used fuel tank ran me ten dollars and so we got our little set up uh the thing that really impressed me about this motor is although it is a couple horsepower less than the original i did not notice a power difference whatsoever uh, we've been milling with it and i'm really reluctant to take this engine off and put the original motor back on uh, the first start in the morning is a little harder than the briggs and stratton motor uh, you got to mess around with the choke uh, and it cranks over a couple times, but after it's been started, it generally fires right up, usually. It's been down for a little while, so. A little harder starting. A little bit harder starting but I can deal with that as long as it runs and we're able to work after it's been started it usually starts right up first turn really no modifications it bolted right in place uh, same as the other the original motor um, of course we do not use this throttle here and this does have a, a tendency to hit the top of our water tank up there when we raise the engine all the way up so I took the bottom bolt off and bent it down a little bit so that I could actually get it to fit in but um, it's been reliable it seems to go right through the heavier logs just as good as if not better than the original motor so if you're out there and you've got the same issue that we have, the motor fails, uh, this is $800 compared to $2,300 for an exact replacement. Everything bolts right up, fits right in there, and uh, when it gets down to it, I could actually take this other bolt off and uh, move this to a different location to get it completely out of the way. 
very impressed for a cheaper motor it's been holding up really well I've cut oak that has it was uh, 28 inches wide and this motor didn't even it didn't bog down no problems whatsoever here's a piece of the yoke that I cut using that motor um, as you can see this is really hard you can see blade traces where uh, the, the wood is so hard and this of course uh, oak being uh, acidic the tannic acid it literally files little pieces of uh, your blades down into a little dust and the tannic acid turns it black easily cleaned up but uh, really impressed uh, this being 28 and a half inches wide that predator motor did not bog in the least so uh, we do have our original engine back for the mill it is up and running but quite honestly, I'm in no hurry to change it. I may actually make a bracket to hold the fuel tank on and continue using it until it no longer works and then we'll put the original back on. That's been my review on the Predator engine. Like I said, it's harder to start. Once it gets going and warmed up, it starts relatively easy. But uh, it's a, definitely a good backup and kept us uh, producing lumber. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned.